I have a Shastra Pramana from Manusmriti on eating consecrated food, Prasada, Chapter 2, 55th Sloka. Poojitam Yasanam Nityam Palamurjam Cha Yachati Abuchitam Tu Tatbuktam Ubayam Nasayeditam Eating the food that is consecrated, offered in worship, the prasadam always gives energy and strength. Eating non-consecrated food destroys both energy and strength. This is one of my vision for the future, having thousands of, or I should say, even millions of the restaurant chain, which provides consecrated food, prasadam food, without demanding any certain amount or cost. We do it as a service to Paramashiva. You can voluntarily donate. You can donate one rupee or one coin or half dollar or one dollar or one euro. Or you can say, no, I don't have money today. I don't want to. I am. I don't have anything, so I don't want to give. You can say, I have money, but I don't have a mood to give. That is also okay. <laughs> At least, See, we already have de facto spiritual embassies in four digit, surely in four digit. At least the bigger embassies of Kailasa should start this. I wanted to really, really, really inspire all the Kailasavasis, Adinavasis. Living in different countries, in some countries we have a de facto spiritual embassy status, in some countries the embassy status, in some, so wherever, in some countries we are a temple, in some countries we are just a monastery, Various status as per the legal standards of each country. You will be surprised to know in many countries, countries recognized by UN, in many countries Hinduism is not even accepted as a religion. We are working now with many of those countries and educating them about Hinduism and making them accept Hinduism as a religion. Anyhow, that is diplomatic responsibility of Kailasa. That is different. All I want is at least all our active ashrams, centers, adhinams, temples, universities, gurukuls, de facto spiritual embassies, all of you, without violating your local law, should implement this vision. Preparing organic food, offering it to Paramashiva and serving it to people with the principle of eat as much as you want, pay as much as you want. Or instead of pay, let us use the word donate. Eat as much as you want, donate as much as you want. This kind of chain of restaurants, should be important service activity of Kailasa. See, as on now, we are providing food for our Adinavasis, Sanyasis, Gurukul Balasans in temples, the visitors. 
we should expand it into the restaurant level. Eat as much as you want, pay as much as you want. You should even start providing the parcel service. And I tell you, when you do the good work, always wealth is showered. Wealth will never be a problem. Just you need a sincerity and start. Simple hard work. the whole history of Kailasa. In Kannada, there is a beautiful proverb, Kaya Kave Kailasa. Simple hard work is Kailasa. <laughs> Kaya Kave Kailasa. Kailasa, in one line, or I should say one word, simple hard work, that's it. Everything gathers. Everything you manifest. We should start this. It's simple. Simple hard work. <laughs>